Well, sack boy, where's this ghost you promised me? <laughs> oh, my word, there he is. <laughs> there must be a logical explanation for this. Lights! Ah, as I expected, that's not how you use logic gates. Let me show you how. The simple logic gates are in your gadgets page. Let's start with the AND gate. Place it in your scene and connect a two-way switch to each of the inputs by dragging out their output tabs. Oh, and the output of the AND gate goes up to that um, creepy-looking chandelier. With an AND gate, you need both switches on before the light comes on. Well done, Sackboy. Let's give him a big AND. No? Uh, AND? Oh, all right, then. Uh, now, let's replace it with an OR gate. Go ahead, slap it right on top, and the AND gate will be replaced immediately. Now, with an OR gate, you need at least one of the switches on. You can tweak the OR gate to change how many inputs it has. See, even with two or more active inputs, it's still on. Well, this might not be what you expected. To solve this logical fumble, there is the XOR gate. The XOR gate only goes on when one and only one of the switches is on. There's nothing confusing about that. Here's something else even more interesting. Not. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I mean... The not gate. This reverses whatever the input signal is. On goes to off, off goes to on, and... Well, that's it. Nothing supernatural about that. All perfectly rational. <laughs> Whoa! Good heavens! Sackboy! Sackboy? Sackboy! <laughs> <laughs>